What can I do? Yes? Sure. Public people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to get me sick. The Senators, not for individual gain. Ha, <laughs> you gutless simp. It's the dead fools like you to be ruled over we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't what you're asking for. Try it. I'd love to see you, and with all the cameras around, over you inside of 30 seconds. You, you pay the price, Republic. I can see that you're not man enough to back up. Do you ever feel like relieving yourself? Feel free to come by our enclave. I have many, many ways. Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. No, really, I should try to control myself, as you can help you with. Damn Sith are everywhere on Manon, pushing on trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Yeah, the Sith in this war we're fighting with the Sith. And so we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions. And that could lose us the war altogether. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders and as a base of operations to export Colto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. Some can't think that by staying neutral they can play well, but I is there anything Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. 
He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. Yeah, I can't talk now. I've got to get this cult all loaded up before my shift is over.
All the proper culto training permits, so back off. I don't have time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of culto ready to load before my shift is over.
Proper culto training permits, so back up.
I was told that you're a friend of Jolly Bindo. Hector, please, I must speak. Be urgent. My name is Ellen Sunry and Jolly are old friends. Someone is out to destroy my husband. I can trust. I don't know you. He was always a... Please speak to me about my husband. So... Jolie, it is you. Laura, of all the people. Chick. I didn't. Nobody knew. But I heard the Salkath mention. The Force has brought you to help us. What be the matter, my dear? It's a horrible. Sunray has been arrested. Of murder. Murder? Mistake, Jolie. Sunry isn't. He's trying to frame him. Calm down. How will we now? Sunry's being held at the cell. Can anyone in to see him? Please. Let's talk to the judges. Listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. Sunry, somehow.
I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Still, if this Selkath has concerns, we could look into it for him. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place that doesn't belong, and you might not like what you find. I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I don't come here looking for sparkling conversation. So clear out already. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. Cramping my style with the ladies. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe there will be a Johnny Nerf herder cowering in the. Oh, nothing. Johnny or a bunch of fade dancers. Weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. Don't armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Johnny are better than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like like ice right now? Especially since the Republic sudden. They ain't sent. I'm sure, right? Of course, I haven't heard of anyone saying the job ain't easy. If they're ever, they've long since disappeared beneath the Realist. It was war after the Republic destroyed my people. The leader, Malik. So I hate the Sith just. War, there's plenty of opportunity to take both sides and make a nice. We Mandalorians are always practical. Bloodthirsty Iridorians are those. Anything else you want? 
So why are you telling me? I don't need a status report. within the Sith organization for one such as you. Pretty good, but I've heard some nasty... Is it true you bombed Taras into... In war, certain distasteful acts... Ask yourself this, when we win the war... ...or with us. You make a good point. Turn down a job that pays up front. Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Aren't you? My name's Duan. That is, unless you're one of those. I'd like to go and bet on the swoops on their day. Off enough without mingling with the locals. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Malik should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Colto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind. You know? Are you some kind of historian or something? You should forget about the past, look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic is old news. 
and then I get stuck on Manan, the worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Manon should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Colto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? Oh, I get it. I get a little bit wild and you want to hold it against me. Come on, what's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Not really. I've got no interest in the Selkath, other than the fact that they're charging me an exorbitant amount to stay in this world. The Iridorian over there, however, he, I believe, may know more. He's been seen with several of them before. So why are you telling me? We are not your enemies. With what you know. Here. Not. Yes. Hey, man. Clear of the ladies.
I prefer to. Uh, about this, but telling you might put my. My lad don't come cheap. See, uh, I. I can give what the Sith are up to. But it'll cause. I don't know what the Sith are actually up to, but I know who could tell you. The Iridorian mercenary. Spends all day in the mercenary enclave, and everyone gives him a wide berth. The Sith were uh, cozying up to him real good a while ago. Go speak to him about this, but be careful. Them Iridorians have a nasty reputation. That's all I know. You want any more info on the Sith and their schemes? Go talk to the Iridorian. You don't waste my time now, or you got some more questions. So clear. I am not sure. Why do you know? Ask. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war on. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now, excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. Do you mind? I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can... ...if you're just ease past the first courtyard. North end of the second courtyard. I have to continue my recruitments. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. Then still does this Jordan's death. Oh, there it is. The Gabriel's voice. Oh, there it is. Children's Sith in the making. His story. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Sith in us. And the full terrors you made. Oh, stop, there you should be. And 
We have to at least try to help him. Doesn't it? Very Don't forget 
Stop at Manon. Why the Salkath believe themselves invulnerable, I have no idea. <laughs> I 
get out of here. You're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and... <laughs> Jolie, what are you doing here? The law sent me, Summary. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame -up. Anyone looking at the evidence can see that. So I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's, well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The cell cast already did that, but the... Fish folk don't have much rapport with offworlders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith Embassy. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Well, I was at the hotel Asa there that night, but it, it's, uh, I was working with We were pretending to feed him when I turned the Lassa into a bus. It was going well, too, until she... Maybe the Sith had found out I was... Had her eliminated, but let's... Look at Alassa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Cellcat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter... Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Very well. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. Julie, may I have a moment? There's something I wish to speak to you about. Yep, I figured it was only a matter of time until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it over with. I know you have issues with the order, but you are a Jedi, Julie. You command the Force. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? 
Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side, they don't mean the same to me as they do to you. I don't see in absolutes. I want to stop Malik as much as anyone, but I don't have to join the Order to do it. Look at Karth, or Kandorus. They're with us in this quest, but they aren't Jedi. The capacity for good or evil, like the Force itself, is in all living creatures. And belonging to the Jedi Order, or the Sith, or any group, won't change what you are at your core. I see you are quite adamant. No doubt you've had ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn. But I appreciate the effort. But from now on, you can just think of me as any other non-Jedi in our little group. With a lightsaber. And force powers. Red Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. How much for all this stuff, Tyvar? Jiwi Aita ka chongji cha. Agi inko tune chuna muli ra. Tangi guama jiko na. Thanks, Tabar. Catch you next week. Tybark hates the Sith, so he's always given us Republic soldiers discounts. I bet he gives you Jedi a great deal. ตองกีปานงกุนเนกอบองตองฮิตวามาอากิอิงกอตุเนกอตองฮิวามาจิอากิอิงกอตุตองปานกุนนอนเนกชีวิไอตากาจองจิจาคีมูลีราคุนกิน
Those Sith are always trying to goad us. Why don't the Selkath stop them? Chi wa ka ta kan ki cha na chu por ni bo 
wiki sraktoma kuyami kyusku kitanai uchua penki popa na oto bokasa yubabato kanki ya tuka ula tongi tuwama aki inko kune o tongi mwama ki aki inko kune Jiska do soki topa pono nakachu labora na wiki sraktoma kuyami kyusku kitanai uchua penki Topa na oto bok tonggi tuwa ma aki inko tune O tonggi mwa ma ki aki inko tune Tongpa no kun no nek Kiwi aita ka tonggi cha Kon muli slimo po i wanga kon riskin Laboda na winki smak toma Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu Chawana bota uga tagwa king kang Da tuka uluan Jiska da soki Laboda na winki smak toma Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu Kupa batu kong Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Kolto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kolto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kolto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Kolto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely... They do not want to grant either side an advantage. A beautiful place, Sato City. A paradise on the water. But remember, within the city itself, the Selkath have absolute authority. They're a tough race, but fair. Obey the Selkath laws, keep the peace, and you should encounter no problems. I assume you received a visitor guide to the city when you docked your ship. I regret there is little I can tell you that's not in the visitor guide, my good Jedi. My duties rarely permit me to venture beyond the walls of the Republic Embassy. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first.
We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... ...outside of the city before being driven off by... ...while it was returning to the surface, it encountered... ...its automatic systems floated it to the... ...free, but in time. The Sith were applying... ...subtle authorities for some reason we've not determined. Long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Good. It is a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Selkath to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? need luck for that one. Odds are they have some pretty strong guards in there, but it's also the way most likely to succeed. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information.
So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck, you're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions.
Hey, great! You sliced the encryption on those cards. They change the codes regularly, so you'll have to use it pretty soon or not at all. You're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But... There is a catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. Ugh. Uh. What do you want? Tila? How did you find out about her? couldn't have her. You're bluffing, Jedi scum. Oh. You're not. <laughs> you lies. You work for the Republic. The Sith will never trust you again, spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. I am Sith. I will never betray them. Your Republic is weak, and will soon fall at any rate. Ha! <laughs> Worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. Oh, what do you want? Oh, what companion?
Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. The Sith are not that easy to fool. We would see through your petty deceptions and destroy you for the way you try to humiliate us. Nothing you could do to us would make us talk. We sit us stronger than you give us. Or... Uh. Uh. Or... You're not. <laughs> You think me weak enough to give in to false promises of wit? There's nothing you can do to me, Jedi, that the Sith wouldn't do worse. I'm not afraid of you. The Sith will never... Never! Or... You think bribes will work? No, please don't hurt her. Please. Or. Or. Nothing you could do to us with. Of course they would. The Sith are not. Ha. Or. No. Damn. He blanked out. Or. Uh. No. Please don't hurt her. Please. Could be so much easier. All right, all right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's it's Zeta two four five six nine eight Alpha. Just no more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long, or they might learn that he's been captured. You're the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunry would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though.
Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. What do you want to know? The room, norm, the earth, don't know anything yet. The speak. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot. What do you... Well... No problem. Didn't work. <laughs> You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with her damn antics, usually. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. 
Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Ah, oh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything, and there's no way you can make me say otherwise. Now quit asking. Since you put it that way... Well, one time, I saw Alassa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alassa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now, that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Investigating the Sunri murder trial, I wrote. This case is not at all what it appears to be. Many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey by the footprints. You understand, yes? saying they both had something to do with it. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. No, 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 of course not. Fail on the common market, you would have to be devious to get what you want. You may yet find the truths in this murder.
Vision con Chiwi Chopa chawa Chiska nichu Kimba muli rap wana ji Kimba nincha na wabaka on Chi Da hupa botenya go Pronti tocarsi nei mo? Chi non? Non chi non va? Chi sta lì? Chi non va? Non c'è niente. Da rubo botegna a dojo di pizza. Chi non va? 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 Non c'è niente. A dojo di pizza. Chi non va? Chi non va? This street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Hiding behind the Selkak laws. Typical Republic cowards. You got any armor plating for my spook bike? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Do 
You're the arbiter in the murder trial. Elasa was a friend of mine. If there's any justice in the galaxy, they'll feed... Shouldn't you be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? Go. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Kipuna na boncha, kava dumpa kupaliaya mokai pata. Takum justak miki gravel mogo, kachi chu ai thau donga. Donga ai tuam jiji yumalit pa ang niko tu. Tulba da bung walia gando te nago chuchut, kachi chu ai thau donga. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao dunga, tulpa da bonk mwalya gando da nago chuchut. Moga sha bonkpa. Kachi chu ai thao dunga, yin kin kun no ba muli ra chin kun, slima podona. Run... Takum justak miki gravel mogo. 
Kachi Chu ay tao donga. Tong ay tuam jiji yumalit pa ang ikotu. Tolba da bung kualya gando da nago chuchut. Kachi Chu ay tao dong. Tonghai tuam jiji yumalit pa ang ikotu. Tolba da bung kualya gando da nago chuchut. Karadun pa kun pa yiya moka pa ata. Bonanai kachu. Inkin kuno ba muli rachi kun. Tong na bun shanyun ya takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ay tao donga. Tolba da bung kualya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampong pa. Kipuna na bonsha, kava dumpa kupali yaya.
I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunra's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Sunra is... he's a cripple. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. I'm a Jedi, and one who is living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, dammit. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. Find the real evidence. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't. I hear you've been appointed as. My husband is in. What? Both. Sundry's. Honorable man. How dare. Us. Oh, Laura, we're not here to pass judgment. We need to know everything if we're here to help, yes? Yes, he's having an affair. That, that fifth woman. We've been together. He just. But inside, he started seeing a lot. I, I had my suspicions. He was careless. But even though I was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. Confessed to the affair, to me. To end it. Maybe the he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. Love. That was a long time ago. Far, far away. Now, settle down. Please, prove his innocence. Find the real ask. The real evidence will prove. 